Hey everyone, welcome back to The Restaurant Show and I have Chef Paul Danella <laughs> from Panini's and um, right, there on the, right there on the water. Yep. Great spot, um, it used to be the old Old Acres. bank. Yeah, the old yep. bank, absolutely. Um, and you are gonna, this is the first time you've been on here, I'm so excited to see what you Thank have you. in store. Um, what are you making for us today? Uh, we're gonna do some linguine and clams. Oh, so good. Uh, which we have every time at the restaurant on it's the menu year round. Probably one of the most popular, huh? And uh, we're gonna use these <laughs> clams right here. Oh, those are gorgeous. Okay. And we actually get these from a Buford Shellfish Company out of Bluffton. Yeah. Oh, Buford, okay. Bu and actually, you know what, when, um, when, we, when I saw you guys at Taste of Buford, you had some great seafood out there because you do a lot of local stuff exactly don't you? Yeah. anytime we can Look at those those are beautiful and they're not open yet because no. that's not good you don't want that <laughs> all right so what are we doing from here what do we okay. how do we get um, this going we're going to get started here we're going to cut up our tropia onions what is this a tropia onion tropia onions right and these are actually it. native to italy but uh these are grown right here on ladies island by ren's nest farm that's awesome ren's nest farm and they are a produce uh, or a farm uh, that sells, do they sell to the public too? Uh, he does do the farmer's markets. Okay. You can catch them at Port Royal on Saturdays. Oh, that's great. But uh, we get deliveries two, three oh, times goodness. a week. Okay, and you and you really you really try to source out from local As farmers. much as we can. That's awesome. uh, we do a lot of business this time of year with tomatoes coming up, Barefoot yeah. Farms, Okay. out on St. Helena. Wow, I mean, when you say local, we're talking 10 miles local. Right. <laughs> Not just regional, because I know a lot of people do that and it's, oh, regional, we go as far as Atlanta, but you truly stay local and, mm -hmm. and farm it out. I love that. For anything we can. We're yeah. actually a certified uh, local on the menu restaurant through the state agriculture oh, yeah. department. Yeah, and does it, isn't that something like um, a percentage of the entire everything on the menu? 25% of the menu. That's a big deal because then you're really putting that money right back into the community, which is really, really great. It's also a big thing now across the um, country, I think, for a lot of restaurants to try and really go farm to table. I think you guys are doing probably a great job of it if you're going more than 25% for sure. We All right, try. so we've got those going. We've got our tropias. Right. Uh, we're going to mince up some uh, garlic here. Okay. And you're going to do some fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, you know, I know you're a chef. Are you? If you're cooking at home and you can't get the fresh garlic, would you do the jar? That? Yeah. No. I know. See, so don't it, do uh, it. <laughs> it's got that. It's got that flavor to it. Yeah. They just don't. No. One of the other chefs that was on there goes, the, "There's more flavor in the water that it's in than yeah. the actual it, garlic." It's got yeah. nothing to it. So go for just get the just get the get whole the garlic. fresh garlic. Get, get the, the fresh clove. garlic, and they'll actually last a good while okay. in your kitchen. Yeah, absolutely. And that one you just peeled and you're just dicing. So really, just really simple. Absolutely. Right. And we just start with this right here. Okay. I love that. We're gonna add of a little course, bit of our yeah, salt and pepper. Of course, salt and pepper. Um, I love always having a little bit of salt and pepper right next to my stove at home. Just to always be able to see it. Keep it right just there. Right there. And we're gonna get these right in here too. We're gonna oh. steam this all together to start. Okay. Cool. Okay. And what are we? Um, what are we steaming it? With? This. We're gonna steam it first. We've got uh, just some chopped clams and clam juice. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put that in. Oh, okay. that looks so fresh. And this is something, obviously, at the restaurant you guys only do to order. It's right. not like it's in a big pot no, sitting there, No, it you would know? not, the clams would just get too over <laughs> Yeah, We're absolutely. We're gonna use a little bit of white wine. Okay. And if you're at home, out of your glass is fine. Make sure we got white it pulp. seasoned up enough here. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna go ahead and get this steaming. Ah. Leave the lid right on it. And you flip it right, just like that. Now be careful if you are trying that at home. You need to put a <laughs> lid on it. Don't don't be fancy schmancy if you don't need to be. Okay. All right. Now as key. soon as those get ready to start open, we're gonna get our butter ready. Okay. And our lemon juice ready, and we're gonna finish it with that. Okay. And the um, linguine, the type that you use, is just good old linguine. Just regular old linguine. Right. Um, we actually get ours from America Pasta Company. Oh, cool. Okay. And it's actually manufactured in Colombia. Ah, see, again, local folks. Exactly. I love it. Okay. Now, if I don't have linguine at home, can I just do it with spaghetti or yeah. something? I mean, it's it's okay. It's Same flavor. Right. Right. It's just the, the size and texture of the pasta, it helps with this kind of sauce. Gotcha. It picks it up a little bit It picks bit up the sauce and it grabs yeah. it instead of using like a like maybe a fettuccine, which exactly. is a little bit too wide. It's not, because this is really light. This is not a this heavy, is not a heavy cream, sauce. fettuccine Alfredo type of thing. This well, is definitely- As long as we don't add too much butter. Yeah. Well, that's okay. <laughs> but you can never have too much butter. Yes, I was gonna say, I'm like, that's all right. But we're not putting cream in it. No. Which makes it perfect for summer. Um, especially sitting out on your patio. I love um, the patio that you guys have. Actually, that's not even a patio. That's like a deck. That's not. It is. It's like a big porch. I mean, yeah. It's all. It's like all. Sometimes I think it's bigger than your inside of your restaurant. Do you know what I mean? I mean it's huge with the bar out there and 
I mean, that's a big, big deck. It, it's, it's good, and we can actually fit um, about 50 people out I mean, there that's awesome. for dinner. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's a great view of the water. Um, and then, of course, like I said, the bar's out there. When we were there for Taste of Beaver, it was awesome. Great spot to be at. And I'll have to ask you a little bit what the dinner specials and everything is right. going on. All right, so how long take does this usually take? In See. the restaurant, about three to four minutes. Oh, okay, I get it. If it's, you look here, she's yeah, got a good boil going. Absolutely. The clams are just getting ready to open. You can see this yeah, guy right here. Yeah, that one's really just starting to pop open. That's the perfect, that lets you know when it's going to be done, right? Right, because we don't want to steam them too long. Okay. So we'll probably give these maybe maybe another minute. <laughs> another minute. And then and we're going to add our butter and our lemon juice. Okay, and that's really all it is to the that's it. clams and But it's fresh, and that's right. the key. And that's the key, and they taste great. Um, I love it. All right, let's do, let's do it. I know this is you know camera ready, but I'm, I'll be the one eating it, so I'll, I'm all right. I can do it. <laughs> and very important so, that our butter goes in uh, pretty cold. Okay. This way, it doesn't break the sauce. Ah. And basically, what it, I mean, that was probably half a stick maybe at the most? Uh, for a normal household size butter, I'd right. say maybe a quarter. A quarter, so that's not too bad at all. And really, you can control that. Right. Um, okay, so now we're adding the I'm just gonna go fresh, ahead and yeah. take some cheeks off our lemon. The cheeks? And this will brighten it up. Ah. Like little cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> Paul's so cute. He's like, little cheeks, I love it. All right, so we squeeze that in there. And then if you use the cheeks, you don't have to worry about seeds or any of that. Yeah, in there. absolutely. And that is one thing, because if you bite into a seed, you're done. No. It's, it's, it's done. All right, so as we're starting to wrap this up a little bit, tell me real quick, to what food special? I mean, you guys have great pizza, I know. Sunday nights, we do a prime rib special. Okay, so every Sunday's Sunday, prime rib, okay. Uh, from 5 o'clock until we close at 10. And you don't offer that the rest of the week. No, so that's just Sundays. the only night you can get that. Right. Okay, and then what about your beautiful pizzas? Monday night, we do a uh, half-price pizza night. You Buy one, get one half-price. Yeah, you can't beat that. <laughs> that is awesome. And then you get to take some home for the lunch the next day. Right. Which my kids absolutely love that pizza. They think it's the best. All right, we got a few seconds left. Let's plate this Finish baby up. This up. Looks awesome. Right. Good, Add good, good. Add our pasta into it. All right, and again, nice linguine is perfect for that sauce. So I can see what he's saying because it's a nice light sauce. Oh, that looks good. All right, let's plate this baby up. And um, you know, hopefully, Paul will have you back soon, and we'll be learning Thank more you. about paninis and what great things they have to offer. And trust me, I have a lot of questions for you guys about that late night stuff. <laughs> you got good entertainment, I know, that goes on. So especially on the weekends. All right. That looks fantastic. All right, mm -hmm. clams are opening up. We'll they just really are right just opening up. Oh, yep. that is good. And can I get a piece of bread to dip in there with the <laughs> sauce too, right? <laughs> well, thank you so much, Paul. I appreciate it. No that problem. is gorgeous. And uh, thank you for coming thank in. Thank you. We'll be back in just a moment.